I could turn the hourglass over If I could set the clock back It wouldn't change a thing, I know that I know that And when I look at the world around me I see one Hey everyone, welcome back to What The Flock Farm Welcome back my plant friends, my plant family Welcome back to my YouTube channel So in today's video this is episode two of treating your house plants with blight. So this is going to be step by step of what you actually need to do. I am going to be using this Begonia Rex as an example. So let us get started. So as you can see, blight is different with each plant. Now this Begonia has like brown little spots on it. Now I think I got my blight from Home Depot when I went shopping with my brother. As you all know, I am a leaf petter and I did not wash my hands when I got home and I was checking my plants to see if they needed to be watered and of course I was touching their leaves. So as you could see, this plant has blight. It was treated, but we're gonna treat it again because it's been seven days. All right, guys, so what you will need is your latex gloves. If you're allergic to latex like my aunt, you will get, I guess, non-latex gloves. It cannot be cloth because the spores will spread. Now, Blight and bacterial leaf spot look very similar and it can do just as much damage. Uh, also, you will be bottom watering all of your plants until all symptoms subside. So I got my latex gloves, I got my copper fungicide, I have my scissors and isopropyl alcohol. And I got Clorox wipes. So let us get on to the next step where you will be cutting the leaves off. Now each time you cut a leaf off, you will have to dip your scissors into isopropyl alcohol to kill any of those spores that may be attached to it. So let's get to the next step. So the good thing with the copper fungicide is I did treat this once and I do not see any more leaves being infected by it. So I'm gonna try to do this one handed. So what you're gonna do is take your scissors. I'm gonna dry them off a little bit. and you're gonna snip the leaf off. This is hard to do it one-handed. Then you are going to dip your scissors back in. And you are going to snip the next leaf off. Now, if all of your leaves are badly infected, you might as well just toss the plant out because if you cut too many leaves off, you may shock it and it could die. So you don't wanna to cut too many leaves off um, so you don't put your plant into shock. So I'm trying to look for any other leaves that may have been really badly infected and it looks like It was, oh, no, there's one right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to dip my scissors in again. And we are going to snip that leaf off.
And with my spider plant, these little dots were black. These are like a golden brown. Here's another leaf right there. So dip, dry. and snip it's as easy as that now the bortritis bacteria or fungal spore can live in soil for two to three years dormant but like I said, because of the conditions I keep my plants in at home, it was able to spread like wildfire after I got back from Lowe's. It's hard to film with one hand. There we go. All right, so that is the cutting of your plant. For bottom watering, make sure your sink has been sanitized. I wipe my sink down and then place your plant in. You do not want to top water because if it splashes and gets near another plant, it could spread that way as well. Guys in here do not have blight. So I bottom watered all these guys in my bathtub. So if your plants do have blight and you're bottom watering them, make sure the foliage is not touching. The leaves cannot touch each other. Make sure you wash your hands after you are done dealing with a blighty plant. And that should be it. You could also add like hydrogen peroxide in to the water, I don't know how to do that, so I'm not gonna teach you that way. But like I said, I think I got the blight pretty much taken care of. It has not spread to any other plant, thank God. So once you're done bottom watering, you could put it back into quarantine. Make sure that the house plant has a lot of circulation. None of the other blight plants are touching it. Then, Everything you dealt with or touched that could be contaminated with blight should go in a plastic bag. And you will seal the bag up so it does not, so no spores can come out or no bacteria. So that is tied up. It will go in the garbage. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm not an expert on blight. This is just stuff that I have read. Bacterial leaf spot acts the same way as blight does. So that's why it's hard to determine if you have bacterial leaf spot or blight. So that is it for my video. That is how you treat blight from beginning to end. Um, you spray with copper fine. Well, you remove the bad leaves first. That's number one. Number two, spray for copper fungicide. Three, you're gonna bottom water and then sanitize, sanitize, sanitize after you are done. Like I said, it started off with one plant, my white syngonium or my butterfly syngonium. It spread to 15. And since I've been doing this treatment, it has not spread to any other plants. Thank the Lord. So I hope you guys find this video very helpful. And if you like me, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will see you guys later. Bye.